Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. And I'm writing a short devotional on each chapter of the Bible, and then I'm reading that to you. Today we're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 4. If you want to become a master electrician, or a master apprentice, a master anything. <laughs> you first have to be an apprentice, a student, a learner. Every student needs a teacher, okay? We all must learn from someone. That's the truth of life experience. Paul explains his heart for this truth in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 14 to 17. I do not write these things to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have countless guides in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I urge you then, be imitators of me. That is why I sent you Timothy, my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, to remind you of my ways in Christ as I teach them everywhere in every church. Wow, what a great, great passage. Jesus' call to be his disciple is, in a, is a call to apprenticeship. A disciple is a learner. A disciple is a follower, an apprentice. We are to submit our lives to God by becoming like our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our master teacher. We are his students. And this happens through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Father chooses us. The Son chooses rescues us, redeems us in the Holy Spirit that empowers our walk to imitate Christ. To what purpose? To what aim? Love. It's all love. It flows from the heart of love, from the Trinitarian fellowship of God into us, and then that motivates us to love. But let's be honest. We need someone to learn from on how to do this God's way. Yes, of course. As I've just said, we are called to follow and imitate Jesus and no man agreed. But we need someone to show us the way. What does it look like to follow Jesus Christ? He lived 2,000 years ago. We're in 21st century now. It's a different world. How do we do this? It's always been this way, though. For 2,000 years from the beginning of the church, Jesus manifests himself in people so that we can learn how to follow Jesus by imitating people who are mature in Christ. Every apprentice needs a master teacher. So here's how to choose a good one. First, love. <laughs> you will know by their love for God through their personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Here's the second criteria, love. You will know by their love for God's word and how they're humbly learning to obey all of Jesus' teaching through the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. And here's the third criteria. You ready for it? Love. <laughs> you will know by their love for you and how they love other people, not just church people, but the people they encountered. That's the criteria. That's how you choose who you're going to follow because they're following Jesus. And the Bible is very clear that that manifests in love. So who are you learning from? Seize the moment and faithfully obey the Lord by loving others well. And seek other people who are loving others well and hang out with them. Seize the moment.